Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I want to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons. <clears throat> and I specifically want to talk about competition for Dungeons & Dragons in 2024. <clears throat> so, so this week, I broke it down, and I gave, you a, uh, I gave you the top three competitors in each season for 2023 spring, 2023 um, summer, 2023 fall, 2023 winter. And in this video, I want to top it off this week by talking about uh, um, specifically talking about Dungeons and Dragons competition in 2024. And I'm going to give you my predictions for what is going to happen in 2024. So first of all, let's talk about D&D's two major competitors, the OSR and the Indy. This year in 2024, the OSR is going to get cut in half. Um, I think liter quite literally the people who are interested in OSR are literally dying. Like, I, And I think this is going to be a year where there's going to be some very significant losses. Um, the other issue is um, 2023, if there was ever a year for the OSR to seize control and to show dominance and show that they could make a real product, um, it was 2023. And that did happen. Uh, and that was Kelsey Dion's Shadow Dark. But what she said is essentially, literally all the old people in the OSR really can't create what the young can, right? But the reality is there was this moment, there was this absolutely critical moment where the, the iron was red hot, right? And Kelsey Dion had the ability and the opportunity to forge a new OSR, you know, and make an allyship with, uh, you know, Bob World Builder and with Ben from Questing Beast and form a very significant company that would reshape the OSR. She let that moment pass and she literally took the OSR crown that she had earned in that year and just put it on the desk and be like, I'll make a, you know, Shadow Dark, uh, you know, a splat book. I'm, she very, I think she very clearly was like, I'm not interested in being some revolutionary leader, right? And so I think at this point, what's gonna happen is literally the OSR is gonna start to really die. Well, I think many of its members will die, literally die this year just from old age. And then um, I think, and I really think what's going to happen is the indie is the indie part of D and D competition is going to come out the victor in 2024, and the OSR will be um, just kind of a vestigial nub on TTRPG activity sphere, right? Uh, so I, I, that's my prediction that the OSR is going to take deep, deep losses, right, in the, in this next year, and um, and probably be forgotten within about five years. I don't think OSR will be anything within five years. Um, the Indies, how are they going to do? Well, believe it or not, I think 2024 is going to be one of the most brutal years in the history of uh, Indie tabletop role-playing games. And the reason why is 2023 was an absolutely brutal rough year for, 20, for Dungeons & Dragons. And Dungeons & Dragons came out the victor, like in every possible way. Um, video game of the year, uh, biggest movie of the year, uh, intelle uh, intellectual property connections that nobody else had, massive win with Magic Gathering Lord of the Rings, um, braiding Magic Gathering D&D &D tighter than ever, and it got and it completed its play test. And in 2024, the it will claim it will claim absolute complete world domination with the 50th celebration. And so basically we're going to be getting a new PHB, a new GMG, a new DMG and a new MM all with new art, all with all the errata from 10 years, you know, included replacing the word race with species uh, showing major progr pro progressiveness literally political progressiveness, right? Saying we care about tolerance, we care about kindness, and we've been able to push off the OSR and do this stuff even as they complain and whine about it, right? And I think it's and it I think it will be the biggest print run and the biggest event in tabletop role playing game history ever. And I think this thing is gonna sell like hotcakes. I think it I think it very well may 
sell out, right? And uh, and the reason why is this will be Hasbro collecting its Dungeons and Dragons check. You know, five years of, of Stranger Things, uh, a massive blockbuster uh, in the, you know, American blockbuster, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Um, the, the video game of the year, right? Uh, quite literally. Um, and just really collecting its, and uh, connecting its worlds to every leg, literally, like literally click, 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 connecting the Dungeons and Dragons world to literally every Lego world that's ever been created. DC, Marvel, City, Friends, like, uh, and Friends is multiple. There's like two, two Lego friends, right? It's, it's going to be astounding, right? And, and, um, and getting a new form of miniatures for Dungeons and Dragons through Legos. Uh, and, you know, people just using the Dungeons and Dragons Lego set that comes out as D&D &D minis and then switching over to use the Lego mini fi figure as the default Dungeons and Dragons uh, miniature and finding that Legos is far better than anything Dorman Forge or the very best miniature. Like, I think people will start selling off their miniatures collections massively. Uh, I'm doing that now. Like, I, there's like, once you've gone to Lego for for use with Dungeons and Dragons, it's it's mind blowing. Like it's so like, um, it's just so much better, and there's so much ability that you can do with it. That you know, Reaper, Ralpartha, um, you know, Bones, it's it's junk compared to Lego. You know, so I think um, you know, uh, 2024 is going to be the end of traditional miniatures right and then people are you know people nobody's gonna spend four hundred dollars on one figure for an ancient red dragon when they can spend 75 and build something twice as big and twice as cool right with that can hold a miniature in its hand like it you know it's it, it's done i that's a big prediction miniatures are going to be finished in 2024 uh when Dungeons and dragons officially literally connects its world to every lego world ever also i'm i am um predicting that the expansion of the uh you know of of the D, &D world connecting to every lego world and expanding that lore is going to be one of the biggest events that's ever happened for Dungeons and dragons so i think the osr is uh, quite literally going to you know kind of like is going to quite literally die in, in 2024. I think it'll be like a chicken with its head cut off. It'll still be running around in 25, 26, 27. Uh, but by 28, I think the OS, you won't even hear the term. You won't even hear the letters OSR anymore. The Indy is going, would, is actually going to retract and grow smaller in, uh, in 2024. And it will be massively, and I think there will be a lot of, oh my gosh, what were we thinking about releasing a, a, a tabletop role-playing game product in the same year that the that a new uh, that a new D, PHB DMG and MM were released, but I do think the indie will rebound in 2025 and 2026, and the reason why is Dungeons and Dragons will have Dungeons and Dragons is either what you copy or it's the wall you push off of, and that is going to continue right. And one of the things I think is going to happen is in 2025 the indie uh, publishers will realize, oh my gosh we can print new uh you know new core rule books but not go to a new edition and Dungeons and dragons will literally show them how right and that's that's massive i think that's a really uh very big deal uh and um and i think 2024 is going to be a brutal year for the osr and um uh for osr and for indies and for indie publishers and what's even wor worse is I think it'll be worse for them than 2023, which was the worst year in history for OSRs and Indies. They were just utterly devastated by not being able to get any traction with the OGL Manic Panic, which I think they thought would literally topple D&D. D&D came out bigger than ever in 2023. So I think it's going to be a very rough year for OSR and Indies. And I think, uh, and honestly, if I, I'll give a, a warning. If you're an OSR or an Indie publisher... Do not even think about releasing in 2024. You're, 
your stuff is just going to get stomped under the under the the massive Godzilla feet of the 2024 core rule books for Dungeons and Dragons. I would really hold that stuff until 25, 2026, where I think there will be some room for for indies to grow. OSR is finished. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.